Breaking news, 3i slash Atlas isn't acting like any comet we've seen. It's tail, carbon dioxide outbursts, and even nickel traces. On July 1, 2025, astronomers expected just another speck on their sky survey until 3i slash Atlas appeared, a colossal interstellar object nearly 50 kilometers wide, moving faster than any comet we've ever seen. But the real shock came weeks later, when it grew a staggering 56,000 kilometer tail that pointed toward the sun, defying every rule in the book. Now with baffling emissions of nickel but no iron, a carbon dioxide to water ratio eight times higher than normal, and a trajectory seemingly engineered to slice through the solar system's ecliptic, scientists realize everything we thought we knew about comets just changed. The question isn't whether 3i slash Atlas is rewriting the textbooks, but what secret is it about to reveal next? The moment Atlas flagged the object on July 1st, astronomers knew they were looking at something different. This was not a faint, fleeting point like most interstellar discoveries. Instead, the initial data showed a brightness that stood out even against the crowded star fields near the galactic center. When the team pulled the first photometric values, the numbers suggested a body far larger than anything expected from another star system, an absolute magnitude around 12, translating to a possible diameter of up to 20 kilometers if it were a bare rock. But the coma made things even harder to pin down. For context, 2i slash Borisov, the last interstellar comet, measured just over a kilometer across. Here, the early models hinted at a nucleus, perhaps 10 or even 20 times that size. Atlas's automated sky survey, designed to catch potential impactors, had never logged a new visitor from interstellar space this bright or this massive. The object's apparent velocity, 61 kilometers per second, confirmed it was on a hyperbolic course, bound for a single solar flyby before vanishing forever. Within hours, the Minor Planet Center's confirmation page lit up with alerts. Observatories from Hawaii to South Africa scrambled for follow-up imaging, each new set of exposures reinforcing the scale. This was a true giant, a nucleus possibly spanning several kilometers, wrapped in a diffuse coma that made any precise measurement a challenge. The Atlas team, usually focused on asteroid threats, now found themselves at the center of a discovery that would force astronomers to rethink what kinds of objects wander between the stars. August brings a transformation that no one expected. Gemini South's imaging, taken across the last week of the month, reveals a tail stretching 56,000 kilometers, almost one-seventh the distance from Earth to the Moon. But what draws immediate attention isn't just the size. The tail points nearly straight toward the Sun, not away from it that's not supposed to happen. Traditional comet science says solar radiation and wind push dust and gas outward, forming tails that stream anti-solar, always trailing the comet's motion. Yet here the dust appears to be flowing sunward, as if the rules have been flipped. The working theory from the Gemini team is that the outflow consists of unusually large dust grains, hundreds of microns across, so heavy that sunlight can't push them back. Instead, they surge forward, carried by gas jets erupting from the sunlit face of the nucleus. With each new exposure, the tail grows longer and brighter, its orientation stubbornly refusing to match any known comet in the record books. The result is a comet that looks like it's breaking free from the basic laws that govern every other icy visitor. For planetary scientists, the only way to make sense of this is to dig deeper into the chemistry driving such an outburst. But for now, the only certainty is that the old playbook for comet behavior no longer applies. James Webb's August 6 spectrum lands like a bombshell. Instead of the typical water-dominated signal, the main peak towers with carbon dioxide, eight times higher than the waterline. That's not just rare, it's nearly off the charts, sitting six standard deviations above any solar system comet at this distance. Analysts at JWST and SPHERX both confirm it. The coma stretches 700,000 kilometers, with carbon dioxide flooding the envelope and barely a trace of water vapor. The numbers are so extreme, some teams rerun their calibrations, but the result holds. 
Meanwhile, the VLT team in Chile picks up something even stranger. Nickel emission lines spike in the blue and near UV, showing clear, repeated signatures. But iron, expected as a companion in every comet measured so far, stays flat. Not a hint, even at the deepest sensitivity. The nickel signal grows by the week, while iron remains undetectable. AV lobe weighs in, pointing to the oddity. In natural settings, nickel and iron are forged together in supernovae. Here, the ratio is all wrong, more like industrial carbonyl separation than cosmic dust. For planetary scientists, these readings break the rules. The chemistry isn't just unusual, it's a direct challenge to the models built from every comet before. If the composition is this skewed, something fundamental about how interstellar objects form, or what they're made from, has to be rethought. Avi Loeb calls it the most improbable trajectory he's ever seen. 3i slash Atlas is not just on a hyperbolic escape, it's threading the solar system almost perfectly along the ecliptic, but in reverse. The current orbital solution gives an inclination of 175.11 degrees, which means it's sweeping backward through the very plane where all the planets travel, missing a true 180 by just 5 degrees. For an interstellar object, that's about a 0.2% shot, less than 1 in 500. The odds drop even further when you factor in its near misses with Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, all within a few astronomical units. The path isn't just rare, it's almost as if it's been dialed in for a maximal tour of the inner system. Statistically, most interstellar comets should come in from random angles, slicing through the solar system at steep tilts. But Atlas is hugging the planetary disk, retrograde, as if it's surfing the same invisible track that guides Earth and its neighbors. The perihelion comes October 29th, just 1.36 astronomical units from the Sun, closer than Mars ever gets. The timing couldn't be more critical. As it rounds the Sun, Atlas will be lost in the glare, with a solar elongation of only 13 degrees. Earth's telescopes will be effectively blind, right when the comet is at its most active and unpredictable. For weeks, the only eyes on the scene will be spacecraft orbiting Mars or Jupiter, and maybe Psyche if the geometry holds. Loeb points out that if an interstellar object ever wanted to alter course, this is the moment. The solar conjunction hides everything from Earth. Any change in velocity, any out-of-plane maneuver, would be invisible to ground-based observatories. And with the object's hyperbolic excess speed, 58 kilometers per second, it only gets one shot. Once perihelion passes, Atlas will swing out, fading into deep space, and the window to witness anything extraordinary will close. The countdown to October 29th isn't just about science. It's about catching the single, unrepeatable act of a visitor that, by every calculation, shouldn't even be here. On August 6, 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope confirmed that 3i slash Atlas carries a 700,000 kilometer wide coma dominated by carbon dioxide, eight times more than water. Spectra from the Very Large Telescope revealed nickel emissions with no iron signature, a phenomenon never before seen in a comet. Its 46 kilometer nucleus and 56,000 kilometer anti solar tail first detected by Gemini South, break every rule established by previous interstellar visitors. The object's ecliptic-aligned, retrograde trajectory, calculated at a 0.2% probability, presents further challenges to current models. Despite months of global observation, the origins of these chemical and orbital anomalies remain unresolved, and some data are still under review or restricted. As 3i slash Atlas nears its October 29th perihelion, one fact is clear. This object compels scientists to rewrite what we know about interstellar comets. For now, the story of 3i slash Atlas stands as proof that the universe still holds surprises that challenge even our most fundamental assumptions.